What's going on everybody? My name is Wyatt and welcome back to Shitty Box Nation. So the beetle has been brought to the shop to see what's wrong with it. And I uh, waited a few days and finally I got back the estimate um, as to what needs to be fixed. Uh, <laughs> There's multiple pages to this of what needs to be fixed. I'm out in the shop right now, so it's pretty cold um, up in New Hampshire. So as you can see, the Scirocco's sitting right here. I got a V8 sitting right behind me. You know, it's, it's casual, whatever day it is, Tuesday. i at my house. So um, let's go through what's wrong with it. I'm going to probably have up on screen um, the actual paper so you can read off with me. So it just has kind of the the first page is pretty simple. It's just a matter of uh, what I asked them to do. I asked them to swap on the new winter tires. Uh, yeah, the rear tire is completely bald. Yep, that was a very big issue. Um, yeah, I did have another shop, couldn't get the wheel off, so I had to go here, uh, which was fine. It worked out in the end. Um, they got it free and did the tires. So that was cool. That cost me 104 bucks for all four tires. Now this place is a Volkswagen specialized shop. So they mainly do Volkswagen, BMW, Audi. So they know what they're doing with this stuff, which is good. Um, then I had them put in the speed sensors so you know you can actually see how fast you're going. That's pretty nice, 115. I don't know why they have $115 on there. Ah, the labor must be. That must be included with the tires, which is fun. Uh, with the supply parts, yeah, I already bought them. Couldn't get them in. Well, you know, uh, e-brake cables and brake work. So they put in the e-brake cables. Pedal still very soft because the left front caliper is literally falling off. <laughs> it's extremely loose due to missing bushings and lower guide pin not installed. What are you going to do? Uh, possibly damaged threads and knuckle need to begin disassembly to check. So I drove it there with a caliper falling off, so that was fun. Uh, all but the right rear rotor were rusty. Pads are all okay. I knew that. Rotors may clear up with some driving like usual. The right rear brake line has been replaced, but the flex hose was cut and bypassed. <laughs> Now, all this stuff, every single thing that was done except for the O2 sensors being put in was all done by the previous people, previous owners, so don't give me shit for any of this. Uh, the brake line's not secured to anything, which is nice. Uh, the other rear brake line's getting swollen, I have no idea why. The right emergency brake cable's in very rough shape, which is weird because it's brand new cables. I got two brand new cables and... They're in bad shape, I guess. I don't know. Um, left rear emergency brake arm is stuck. The right rear caliper needs to be adjusted. Emergency brake arm does nothing. I could have diagnosed that myself. They recommend replacing the left rear caliper, e-brake cables, and addressing the front caliper. Plus, brake lines with brake fluid service thrown in for good measure. The rotors may clear up with driving, so we should keep an eye on those. But that was page one. That was pretty, pretty easy. Page two is what they also noticed. Page two is pretty, pretty scary for the wallet. We start off with the big one. Timing belt looks pretty worn out. Recommend replacement. Car's at 103,000 miles. Supposed to replace it at 80. Hasn't been replaced. The coolant is full of rusty water. No shit, it's brown. Coolant temp sensor on radiators disconnected. Recommend coolant flush would get them a timing belt. So I asked them to do the coolant flush, but they didn't in case I wanted them to do the timing belt, which I do want them to do because me plus timing belt, m me plus engine work equals probably engine go. <laughs> so I, I probably won't do that. Uh, the secondary intake, air intake tube is missing, so it's just sucking in dirt and air from the engine bay. Recommend addressing this. No, I think it's great, you know, it adds a little grit to it, you know, which basically more grit, more rough, more choppy, it's just a cam, a big cam, that's all it is.
Uh, no battery hold down. Why? Why does the battery need to be held down? Why can't it just do its thing? I don't know. The right plate light, reverse light, and fog lights are out. Left fog lights missing. Will be will be needed to pass state inspection. I just grabbed a lighter out of my pocket. Uh, bet I'm going to just rip the other one out and rip, rip the grill off and zip tie the wires up. And guess what? It'll probably pass inspection. Probably not. Probably. Oh, where was I? <laughs> Washer fluid is empty. Not sure if it's leaking or not. Yeah, I don't know. I just don't. I've never had any windshield wiper fluid in there. So, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Here's where they start making fun of the, uh, the build. Not respecting the build. Front springs rusty. Lowering springs on cheap aftermarket struts, rusty. Spray painted lowering springs and rear with stock height shocks. Dust boot and bump stops mat smash on top of shock. Not secure into top mounts as they should be. I don't personally see a better way to lower a car than just cutting shit out and not attaching. Power steering lines are all very rusty. Power steering rack lines leak. What are you going to do about that? Huh? It's not squeaking? Then it doesn't have an issue. Has quarter inch wheel spacers in front, but not in rear. Maybe necessary for these wheels? Question mark. No, it's necessary for racing. Eh, just have more wide, more grip, more traction, more room. Transmission shifter bushing sticky. No? Well, yes. Um, I personally find it easier to find the gear when the shifter just sticks in random spots. I don't know. That's just me. Left front wheel bearing has massive play. Recommend immediate replacement. I kind of knew that, but I was like, I'm still going to drive it anyway. So that's kind of scary. I'm probably going to have them do that too, just so I don't have to drive on that. Uh, backup light switch on trans is disconnected. Connector's corroded and doesn't reach. Whatever. Uh, brand new Catalyst Turbo Back 3 inch exhaust system installed very poorly. Just want it to go pow. All gloss, but windshield is tinted. Will not fail Vermont State Inspection, but also not allowed. Well, I hear not failing is success, so I'd say it's allowed. Um, lower grill is very broken. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, noticed that one a few times. Radiator support slightly broken. Radiator and AC cooler in rough shape. AC blows fine, so. Oil return line for possibly aftermarket turbo. I just imagine this at the shop. They're like, they're sitting there, the car's running. They're revving it up a little bit. It's building shit ton of boost. And uh, they're just like, it might be stock. Might not be. No, no, it's obviously not stock, bro. Turbo has been patched with. Uh, the, 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 the hose line, return line has been patched with a rubber hose, which is starting to rub through the axle heat shield. Recommend addressing this issue. Now, with none of this stuff on page 2 being fixed, I'm at $258. Guys, wish me luck, please. Uh. <laughs> I'm gonna try and get the beetle back on the road. Uh, probably some of this work I'm gonna do myself, some of it not, but I just want to update you guys on where the beetle's at. And yeah, so wish me luck. Hopefully, after all that's fixed, then it will be a solid car where I can, you know, race people and not worry about it falling apart from underneath me. But yeah, please like, subscribe, and share this. Jesus, that was aggressive. This channel, I really want to go somewhere because I'm going to have a lot of fun with it if I can. But other than that, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video whenever it comes out. It all depends on what's going on in my life with the cars. If anything happens one week, might not. Or a lot of stuff might happen the next week. I don't know. Definitely keep you guys up to date. Follow uh, Shitty Box Nation on Instagram. That's probably where I'll be updating you the most um, in live time so you'll know what's going on before the video drops but yeah like subscribe share I'll see you guys in the next one